going to take the other half of the skin off of the fish. Ah, perfect. perfect. Yes, I have this. Mm-hmm. All right. We'll see if you do have it. All right. All right. Through the top here. That is. I barely use this model anymore. <clears throat> Dig deep here. He doesn't get to be casual anymore, unless he's at his own home. Down. How's that? Not big enough? Let's see how if you make it deep enough. You would see parts of the fish go with what you have. <coughs> Not the best work. Yeah, we can salvage these. Okay. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Okay. okay. Hold it there. No, 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 no. stay. Right. Hold it there. Okay. Okay, and then you go right here. And go. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, I see. There we go. Now you should be Perfect. able to push this down here. Go okay. Up. okay. Oh, I see. All right. Okay. And there we are. My lord, do you want my sticky stuff? Not again. I'm full from last night. Mm, I expect as much. It's fine. What? I'm, now I'm concerned. <clears throat> you ate his sticky stuff last night? No, we were making a stew the other day. Hmm, yes. What, what, were, what you were you thinking, thinking of? You still ate... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and ah. the head completely. And the tail. Because we don't really need it. <laughs> All right. So right here. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do it like so. Okay. You see her grab a large butcher knife that's over there. Hmm. Hmm. So Don't know right why. Here. A woman with a Under large butcher knife is very intimidating. <laughs> it's something. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs> here. Alright. We're going to cut off the head. You see right here okay. where the gills are? Yes. You're going to cut right next to it. Large swing up, straight down. It will sever the cartilage of the bones. Alright. <laughs> Did you get him to eat the eyeballs? They Eyeball. said the Ozeans eat though. Into your face. The head mm. too hard. I'll eat the eyeball. Beat you to it. Disgusting. <laughs> it's the worst thing I've eaten. Try living in prison. <sighs> I remember when I was in prison. The other one, my lord. Yeah. So, uh, it's kind of a ritual at this point. Food. Yeah. There you go, my lord. Here's the, the head. I don't think we need it for anything. Mm hmm. It's still terrible. Mm. Well, yeah, a little mm -hmm. tarty, to say yeah. the least. Yeah. Nice little pop Disgusting. sound, though, when you bite into it. Yeah. <clears throat> like an egg, Girl. but like squishy. You would see her large swing <laughs> right in the middle. Mm. Mm. All right, what's next? So we're going to use this half for later. Because this okay. is the half, this is the best half of the fish. Over here is going to be our practice half. All right. Go ahead and wrap that up. Okay. We 
we're going to now right down the middle here into the bone. <coughs> Said some of the door again. I'll be right back. I'm Hi. sorry. It's like they know we're here. Welcome to the Erhard Estate. <sighs> I, I should be used to this kind of thing with you all. Thomas is every single person here in Nantes needs everyone that I care about. You have no idea. <clears throat> I literally had someone being like, how do I pay my taxes today? What? Huh? That was part of it. <clears throat> it was a big thing. I... I... <sighs> you need the break. We need to go someplace. Someplace far away from Nautis for a day. <clears throat> I did, it was, um, Kabazra. Yeah, but that wasn't pleasure, it was for <clears throat> business, no? I don't get to have pleasure, Basil. It's all business. Well, maybe you deserve some. It's hmm? not about what I deserve. It kinda is. <clears throat> After everything you've all gone through, I think one day for nothing. And we're just doing what I did with, with Nate. Laying in the flowers or on the beach and just doing nothing. Even if it's for like 10 minutes. Do you know how many terrible things would happen if I did that? In those 10 minutes, in those 10 minutes that I chose to do that, I would miss so much. Mm. So much would happen. Lay down I'd on be the floor, right here. Attacked by bandits. Right now. I'd be and we'll count for fucking ten kidnapped. I'll I'll sit here in my comfy casual clothes and sip my drinky drink mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. watch the two of you cook. <clears throat> that is probably the extent of relaxing that I'll be able to do. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. Feel guilty otherwise. Hey. Stop feeling guilty for things that are out of your control. Trust me, <sighs> it is not fun. I feel like it every day. Yeah. Hey. It's taking him so long. He's probably been jumped by bandits, or yeah, kidnapped, bandits. or one of the other things I said earlier. <clears throat> oh, oh no! Our boyfriend, whatever are we supposed to do? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? What, what? terrible thing has happened, huh? Tiberius? Go on. Oh, there's a shell at the door. How is he was it? wanting a, a sparring of sorts. Hmm. Um. He seems to be well. Seems to be a little bit out of it though. Frustrated. Yeah, I've never seen the man so angry. Fucking blow himself up yesterday. <clears throat> he did mention this wanting to speak with you, but I told him you were disposed of, giving you time to actually rest for once. Ooh. You would see her use the knife too. Bone, hmm. and it instantly comes through because the way that you cut it. Oh, let's see. Oh. <sighs> you think bones of a fish no. scare me? I mean, they're sharp. They're like baby knives. Always cut you. You want these bones, my lord, from the fish? Fiddle around with. Don't people turn them into, um, needles and such? Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, do they? Do I look like yes, a sewer, 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 sewer? Hmm. Part of 
besó a Inky. <coughs> no. We're going to cut this up into threes. We're going okay. to need the seasoning right here, so you know which ones. All right. One. So what is this exactly? Hey. Does it have dirt in it? Yeah. Hmm. I taught you him want a very valuable lesson. A... Oh, and what is it? Hmm? If you are buying spices and you're inexperienced, some charlatans put dirt in the spice. Give it more growth. Now these ones are full leaves. <laughs> Clean. Put basil right on top. <laughs> you want salt. You want pepper. You want this garlic right here that we'll cut open. And we'll put a bit of this. Mm. This wine in here. Oh, wine. Interesting. Just something small. Can you get me the uh, water and pasta? Mm. Yes. Hello, do you need a refill? <coughs> if you don't mind. Oh, no trouble at all. Fresh drink. I'm French. Fortunately, I can make it in chilled, like good bomb does. But it'll do. Pack the punch. I still don't know how he does it. Yes, I was so confused. He gave us juice, and it was so chilled. It was so refreshing. Still have no idea how he does it, and he's amazing. Hmm. Another secret of the man. bit this one little bit of this one and the rest of this one make sure it's nice and lathered so it keeps the dish neat then I've already Oh, see. So how long would it be cooking for then? Watch it until it turns into a nice even color. Depending hmm. on the fish will depend on if it stays that color or if it goes like chicken where it turns a little grayish brown. I see. Well, that's easy to follow. Just like chicken a bit. Don't just so you know, my lord, yet. you're gonna be my full guinea pig. No, 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 no. I'm just trying you to make sure that I stick to, to the pan. So you see right there? Mm. You see how right there it's starting to go a little crisp. As mm. a bit yes. of a golden hue. That's what you want on both sides. Do we do any side cooking? Let it sear a bit on each side? On the, on mm -hmm. the edges? Because of the way that we heated the pan. You want me to? Oh, I see. Very clever. Mm -hmm. Now, watch it until it goes to a perfect goal, then you flip it over. All right. Well, I got this. <sighs> Garlic hands. 
You were sleeping. No, I was just resting my eyes. <clears throat> We still cooking? Two cute seconds. Yes, we are. It's almost done. Hmm. Right. Any recommendation of drink for this? Wine is always the best, in my opinion. Wine, understood. I believe I have a bottle. So you still rummaging around somewhere. My lord, you're gonna have to be the first to try this. I'm so full oh from no, breakfast. That's terrible, having to try my cook try my cooking. It's not your cooking, it's his cooking. Look mm. at it. <clears throat> well, he's the one that's she, finished. She did the Lord. She did the majority of the cutting and everything, that's for sure. And everything else. Nice recipe though. Something yeah. very simple that anyone can do, and if you fuck it up, then you're just terrible at mm. what you do. You overestimate me. <laughs> My lord, you were do great I? at cutting the vegetables, even the onions! Mm. Those things suck. They do, they make your eyes burn. I think it's good, Basil. Okay, then you have your plates already out. There you are, Basil. Anything recommended sides for this? Any vegetables of any sort? Sides. Doesn't really need it. If we're just doing this <clears> one, <throat> we would have cooked the vegetables with it. I see, I see. And here we are. Yeah. And here we are. Thank you. Where would you like to sit? Perfect. <clears throat> Alrighty, though. <sighs> right. Tell us how it is, my lord. Come on, Kyla. Fishy, garlicky, <laughs> mm -hmm. not bad. Simple recipe. <clears throat> Perfect. Basil makes it Thank better. You very and as much. long as you paid attention to that, the best part. I left that best part of the fish. <clears throat> this was your test fish. Is that what you'll be doing tonight? <laughs> That'll be what I'm doing very soon. The sun has even started to set already. Was I actually asleep for that long? Oh, you had a good nap in my mind. <sighs> Sorry. You needed it. <laughs> Don't apologize. Don't apologize. We ran rampant the other day. <clears throat> no sleep for three days. Yeah, we <laughs> spent a day doing our stuff. Rode throughout the night to Kabazra. Spent the day mm -hmm. doing our stuff in Kabazra, mm -hmm. rode through the night to get back here, spent the day, and I didn't sleep very well. I was busy most of the night. <clears throat> and then, are we, was that? No. And then it's today? Yeah, mm, we finally had a good night's sleep last night. You say we. Listen, just because I sleep on the first bed. Thanks, <laughs> <coughs> my lord. I took advantage of it. I was so. I kid you not, Basil. They had the most 
<laughs> beautiful bed to sleep on. It was laced in silks. It was comfortable. I got to sit on it for a single moment, and I thought, I will actually get to sleep on a beautiful bed instead of some rugs or a couch. <laughs> we had to leave that night. Right. We didn't get to stay and use the beds. And I had cheese and two carrots. Yes, you did. That's all we got to eat. <clears throat> I... That's all I got to eat. I time. didn't eat when I was there, actually. I had some crackers, but that's it. I just sworn I gave you one of the carrots I swiped. Did I forget to give you the carrots? I think you forgot to give you the You were grating them on your faceplate. True, I was. <clears throat> well, I said I don't do that anymore, but I used to. Hmm. Uh, it's about 40 minutes away. It's quite a distance. At least my horseback. But uh, traveling at night, it takes a lot longer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's far out of the province. Um, mm. it's aside from Palamin, to the side. Really beautiful. A bit of a journey. A lot of a f lot of fucking hills. Yes. Though. <clears throat> Yes. Are there windmills there? Uh, there are. They are in a sort of, uh, canyon would be the best way to describe That's it. That's how I they guess. said it was. It was a canyon and that the wind blows in fertile seeds cool. or whatever. <clears throat> I don't understand how it works, to be honest. Farmer talk. Right. Not bad views at night time, though. There's no reason hmm. to forget to watch the places because of problem. <laughs> but it was very nice, wide roads. Looks well traversed. The town was very lovely. Good people, actually. Aside from, you know, the riffraff. <laughs> you say that as we found quite a bit of the riffraff. But that was seemed. what we were there to do, was to hunt down the riffraff. Ugh, it would have turned into, if I'm honest. Ugh. I was half worried that we were going to get there and they'd be like, Yes, yes, stay the night. And while we were in our beds, just... You know? <clears throat> the... Not wrong, but if they even tried it, I mean, one of us would have been not switching sleep schedules to be keeping an eye out on our full plate. Yes, one of us. <clears throat> but then again... Oh, then again, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I the wouldn't bed. trust that comrade of ours. I, I saw him... S the bed. The bed. Uh... You can use my so... bed up there. I don't sleep in it. Like... No! You use your bed. I don't... Refuse. I don't sleep in that bed. <clears throat> I don't really sleep in beds. What? I don't like it. What? It's too soft. What? It's too soft. Oh. Clifford will be coming by to pick up his daughter. Yes, he... Yeah, he mentioned. <clears throat> yeah, been leaving her with the, uh, Crenshaw. The cradle. I figured as much. <sighs> yeah. Well. <clears throat> Still, that's good he's coming by. Nice of him to... No, I'm gonna be nice. Mm. My mother said to me... Are you going to be nice? My mother said to me, if you can't say anything nice, shut the oh. fuck up, you knife-eared cunt. So I'm not gonna say anything mean about Clifford. <clears throat> oh. oh. I, I was told to if you can't say anything about nice, about then you just slit your throat, but... I know, what if it works? Mm. You know, my mom's not normally nicer than most people, but... The that he was smiling people, but... <clears throat> and so happy with another woman was very strange <laughs> for me to see. <sighs> He's with another woman, you said. Mm-hmm. One that came right out of his abode with him and was smiling with him, and I've heard oh. her say, if I'm going to be your future wife, I should know about these things. Oh, it's funny how quickly move on. 
of funny, quickly people mm. move on. <clears throat> Very quickly. That sounds now, like... I don't know if she was teasing him or not, but it didn't sound like teasing to me. Hmm. Truthfully, I'm just more worried about the kid than him. <clears throat> me too. Me too. I mean, why... <sighs> nope. My lord, grief does many things to an individual. <laughs> <clears throat> What's there to grieve? Sometimes best. She's not dead. Just left. In some ways, it's almost like they're dead, though. You think they'll ever return? Why do people get the opportunity to be blessed with something like a child? Something of you that you can raise and shape and mold, and they just throw them away. It f makes my fucking blood boil. And he's doing the same thing. She did the same thing. It's disgusting. That's why I'm looking after the fucking kid. I want him to end up like I did. Knock, 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 knock. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence? Munch? <laughs> <laughs> How could he overhear oh, everything? No. He knew. He knew. He he knew. Anyway, oh. that Clifford fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a breakfast sandwich? It's great. Fuck Clifford, I want a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is what happens. This happened twice for me today. <laughs> I'm sorry for getting heated there. I just saw a spot, I guess. No, it's, it's completely understandable. Trust me. Leave your sword there. If, uh, if my family wasn't so reckless with money the way that they were, I wouldn't have been a slave. And I wouldn't have been suffering the way things were. I would have been a different person, sure. We might never have met. My lord, it's Clifford. You did that despite what happened in the past, not because of it, though. <clears throat> I believe uh, she is upstairs, correct? I'll Should grab it. <sighs> Make him eat some of your fish. It. It. I still have some. True. Should I? Should I be concerned about the fish? Mm, it's fish. It's a very simple recipe. <clears throat> yeah, Kyle has been really fucking pissed off with Ro of because of this. Because he's seeing exactly what was happening, like, with his parents in it. <laughs> What's he getting? Oh, no. <laughs> As you take a bite, Clifford, immediately, you, with a three, right in the back of the top of your mouth, you feel a bone. Just pinch right into there. And you, you, feel, you feel your mouth bleeding. Ooh. Mm. What did I say? Uh, I was like instant. He's still learning. I thought I, thought I did a good job with it. <clears throat> you did. Sometimes you miss one. Luckily, <sighs> there's that He's annoyed at <clears throat> Wolvia for leaving. <laughs> for one, because he knows what that's like. But he's annoyed at her for leaving the kid, and he's annoyed at Ro for not stepping up and, you know. <clears throat> That's why he's been so protective of the kid, because he's like, I'm fucking not letting this happen again. Hmm. 
sorry. How's everything? Or in <laughs> Well, yes. It's it is what it is. Right. Fair enough. Thank you. Of course. It's my job. Well, I won't disturb your dinner any longer. You <clears throat> all take care. Let us know if you need anything yeah. else. Take care. Of course. I just noticed something. <laughs> the individual who I was supposed to meet tonight isn't here anymore. <clears throat> they left town. They they. Oh no! Never mind. I'm stupid. Never mind. I'm dumb. Never mind. Didn't I? Didn't say that. Stupid. Uh-huh. <coughs> what do you think of the fish? Well, it has a lot more interesting texture to it than river fish, that's for sure. Not so crispy as well. Hmm. It's almost as if no you didn't burnt. put it on a stick and just cover it over the campfire with nothing on it. Crazy what happens. I mean, I, I, I do throw some salt on it. Hmm, that's it though. I can I can tell I by the way that. Don't you're... need much more. A river fish. You don't have the right facilities to cook something her. fancy. Yes, you do. Even on a stick, you can cook it different ways. Listen, there was a time mm -hmm. where I had to cook whatever I can get. Rat. That was terrible, absolutely terrible. I hated mm. that. No, not a there was that. river fish, there was small rabbits, and birds. Seagulls, mostly, and seagulls taste terrible. It's the smaller birds are the worst. Tiny, tiny bones. Very horrid to get any kind of meat from it. So what I did was at the time I didn't really have any monies. I borrowed some seasonings from a uh, spice salesman borrowed i see mm -hmm. i see uh-huh and i made my meals taste a little better <laughs> That's you just carry what you need on them <sighs> I owe you one, for Basil. For this, if you need anything, just let me know. <clears throat> Off to woo yeah. your woman. <sighs> oh, I need to get some preparations in order. Man's gearing up for a whole mission. Make sure. It's a life and death situation, my lord. If I fail, <clears throat> I fail, I fail big, to say the least. Ugh. I even have the spot picked out and everything. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> uh, so I, I gotta go get permission for the spot first, there. Eh? I'll be back. I have to collect a few things. Thank you again, Basil. I honestly mean it. You're, you're welcome. I'm going to ask this to you. Why do I find all of you drow so fucking attractive? <laughs> because this fucking hurts so badly. 
Wait, will you <clears throat> draw? going on and <clears throat> I have never been a monogamous person I've never had just one partner. And it's 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 weird to me that I can't do that with Soma. And so in my heart it's not wandering because I love him so much. It's seeing people where I have this chemistry push me aside and go for somebody who is better. <clears throat> It uh, just makes me feel terrible. I see. And unfortunately, it tends to... I shouldn't say unfortunately, you're very attractive. All of the drow in my life tend to be either taken or... not within my reach. Emotionally crippled, you know. You know, all the, all the main things that we do with some. I don't think it's going for something Aye. better. I think it's respecting the sanctity of your marriage. <clears throat> We're not even married, for one. Mm. And 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 two, I I'm scared of what's happening next with him. I'm so scared. Have you spoken to him since? I spoke to him today. He's been walking around with a scowl on his face and all day. He won't tell me what's going on. And more and more secretive that he gets, it's hard for me to trust him. I told him, regardless of if it, I have a smile on my face or not, I'm there for him. But if he's not going to give me that the time of day to, to help him, to push him through whatever he's going with, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to be there for him? Do you tell him everything? Yes. I actually do. And I have. <clears throat> I, I've told him a lot of things I didn't... Of course, I can't tell him who I'm connected to with these certain things out of his own safety. But everything that I can tell him, I, I have. What I've done, I've told him my history. I, I've told him a lot of things. It's a tough one, isn't it? Yes. This is why I don't do this anymore. I don't do that anymore. One of the reasons. It just complicates things. I just... I love him, but I'm so scared. And what they did to him while you were all gone, I... I felt so alone not knowing what to do because I couldn't be there for him. You think I didn't freaking realize that from the beginning? That when that garrison was sent there in order to secure the mines, that there were probably going to be probes. What is Dario thinking? Might be time for you to leave. 
I'm not the major, my lord. I don't know what the madman is doing in his high castle. What I do know, though, is our garrison there is having difficulties working with okay. the Imperial dogs, as they have put it. clean up. I need it to just fucking come to an end. Whatever problems the two garrisons have with each other, it needs to stop. I don't care if you squash it. I don't care if the officer has to squash it. It needs to stop. If you want me to ride out right now with two of my men, I'll go do it. We'll put yes. law and order there. Marco, that's what I want from you. Get two men that you trust to listen to your orders and no one else. You go there with my fucking authority and you tell our garrison to fall the fucking line. It'll be done. We'll send a runner back before night. Good. Keep this up, we'll be a promotion to work for you. I'll see to it myself. Every fucking chance there is. I'll catch up with you later. My lord. Good to see you two again. I think he's home if Likewise. you wanted to talk to him. Hope you guys got some rest. Hmm. Sounds nice. I think I still have some saddle sores for a while yet. <laughs> I remember turning to Tiberius and saying, This must be how the way. bathhouse workers feel when we made it back. <laughs> oh no. We're a foreign land. Foreigners that's put coin above loyalty, above honor. Most of them behave like rabid animals. My lord. Yeah, so it's good to see you. You've encountered as such in our own company that's brought us along. Some of them are. I catch up with you later. Somewhat noble, but yes, the rest no. are. The only coin chances. Barely worth the <laughs> dredge on our boots. To be quite frank. I can only assume being involved with Guardian Cell Swords is not the most enlightening. No, my Certainly God. not, my lord. However, some of them do avail themselves well in terms of their combat prowess. Thank the heavens. We uh, left a majority of the ferrymen outside of the walls of Bonus, but we brought some of the condatieri in so that your lord's son could be acquainted with them. But we have news of our own. I would hear it. On our way down south, we were crossing through the foothills, I believe by the fiefdom of Telor. And while we were watering the horses, we were at a stream. We saw quite an ominous sight. A griffin, my lord. The symbol of your house. A griffin? You're this far mature south. Mature and flying. Mm. And you saw this in the mountains, north of here, you mean? <clears throat> Yes, Lord. There was a stream to the east of Telor we were watering our horses at, and we saw it near there. You see? It was a omen indeed, I and mean, a good one, I should argue. And do you think it is an elder? Certainly an adult. At least. Interesting. Piques my curiosity, but thoughts for another time. You were speaking about your company. Let us speak very plainly. I would not trust a single Guardian Cellsword with anything. At all, ever. I've seen too much of what it is that they're capable of this last several years of my life. It is only those with a sense of honor I would care about. 
Martial prowess can be taught. Honor is something you must be born with. Most certainly, my One Lord. may not show it until they are shown what it is. But those who commit evil for the sake of it, like most of the people in this province, or up at their keep, bears too steep in their ways. To be expected, I suppose. I wouldn't know in those words. We had brought these mercenaries this far south because we had heard of a story that you were here with your house or what remains of it trying to build up a, the beginnings of a resistance that you were being hunted by Theosians. We came in today and in our procession we saw them crawling everywhere standing outside of buildings with rifles uh, the, the uh, night killers at the ready shouldered it they had no idea that there were two inquisitors here. Uh, there was one inquisitor that had showed up to deal with the monsters in the area. They've been rather docile. The other one, you should probably both know the name of well, Victor Van Gout, is present in this yes. province. He's here for me, and me alone. The only reason he has not been able to drag me off is because in a gamble, my son and I made ourselves useful to the Gradian nobility. Granted a minor title. I will only protect us for so long. I need to grow our strength. I don't mean to start a resistance. I mean to build an army. I have clansmen to the far north that are sworn to us, led by a Yala that can be trusted. A company of dwarves that was sworn to us by the late grandfather. Hopefully they still honor this request with the passing of their fame. Now it's up to us to build what we can here. As much gold as we can muster. That's it. If the mercenaries are not of use to you, then they can be... Uh, disbanded, returned to their work, although we may be able to yet pluck some worthy diamonds from this rough. That would be the best course of action, gentlemen. We would want people who <clears throat> have a sense of a code of conduct. It cannot be gold that drives them. I see. I believe I speak for Sir Eskane as well when I say that we are here to support you, assist you in building this army. Our efforts at home have failed utterly. There is nothing left for us. Yes, I'm also hearing that the attempted rebellion in Astagon is taking quite a few failures. It won't last long. There will need to be a force that can sweep across Alzera and drive the Imperium back. That is the intent. But we'll need far more men than we have now. Men that can be trusted. That's the biggest problem in this current country. If you sat on the legions of gold, Pardon me, my lord. It's quite all right. Please. By all means. That's that's a Hellstead, the Astagonian. Can you trust him? I trust him for as long as our goals align. He is a Templar at the end of the day. He has his own beliefs and his own goals. But the Imperium is our mutual enemy. I'm not familiar with the Templars. No, you will I'll explain be. later. I'm sure Sir Skane knows just as much as I. 
It is better for another time, as our lord says. If there are those among your number that think they can be trusted to form a house guard, that would be the first step. We need to be able to swing our own efforts and our own influence, if necessary. At the moment, we lack that. It's going to make making a foundation here to fund our war effort very difficult. We cannot achieve it. There are our landy veterans, I'm sure, that we could poach. Although Captain uh, Captain Aldin will not be pleased. No. What, what do you know of this captain? Mm, he's, he's a condentary. A, a good man mm. in most respects, but I... If I were to say definitively, he would fail in measuring up to one of us in terms of honor. He is Gradian. He's a mercenary. Take that with what you wish. Well, if a number of his men leave with you, likely there'll be some bad blood there. What can I expect? Not quite sure. Now that we are inside the walls of Norris, we are protected by the Radans. We're not out on the road. If we had been caught out on the road and tried to pull something like this, I expect that there would be an attempt to end our lives. <laughs> yes. I see. The men making money is all about that, right? Yes. You're like taking Ultimately. an investment from him. Correct. Well then. We will deal with that as it comes. Once we have everything together and everyone's settled and everyone documented and accounted for, you'll be just as protected by the law as you would be my house. We have to get through those loopholes first. And we need to make sure that whoever's brought in can be trusted. Doubly so. We can submit them for your inspection once we are sure of their number. Sir Black and I best. shall make it our personal mission, my lord. Good. Very good. Very good indeed. Hmm. Is there any further news? I'm afraid we do not know much more, especially from back home must realize, my lord, we've been on the run for quite a while now. And before that, we were cut off from most trying to cultivate our insurgency. I understand that fully, sir. You need not explain yourself to me, of all people. I can hold nothing against you for it. I promise you it's not going to be an insurgency going back there. It will be an army fleet of ships that is the intent but if there is nothing else I must return to my duties to try and build those foundations I simply had one question the um when we were passing south we saw the uh, Theosian embassy pockmarked with uh, the wounds of trebuchet boulders pray what caused these and are the trebuchets still available to be stolen or otherwise <clears throat> During the fighting with the robber baron and upstart, um, we had pushed them further up to the line. The Imperials were supposed to be supporting us, and they pulled out, leaving us exposed. He took, what, 80 men, 70 men? Of course. 80 men. 80 men into the embassy that they had abandoned and held it for several weeks. All while being pelted by <laughs> four or five trebuchets. Oh, heavens for fun. That also still exist. <clears throat> Those trebuchets are out there. Within Radard territory, whether or not they'll be used, I don't know. And if they're not, then we can take them with us. I'm sure they wouldn't mind a purchase. Certainly not. If there are any trebuchets still out in the wild, with your permission, my lord, I will seek to find them to see if they cannot be wrangled. I know there are two that are unaccounted for. 
Don't know what happened to them. Perhaps in a hasty retreat, the robber baron's men trying to hide them. We'll see if we can come across them. And I shall in keep you and your lord's son involved as I begin my investigation into these missing two trebuchets. Most excellent. Good. And we have a plan of action, at least for now. So we can get more in depth with our ideals and plans. Of course. My lord. Says. That's important. I'll speak with you on the morrow. <laughs> Indeed, Sir Black. Well done. Led to the tavern. We should go together and see if we can separate which, uh, the ones we can poach away from Aldine. Indeed. <laughs> Eighty men, Lord Erdos. You knock at the door. <laughs> no more, no less. Good to see that things have not changed. <laughs> <clears throat> How well do we trust them? It's been quite a day. Yeah. I know one of them very well. He was with me during the eternal day. Ah. That's good enough for me. And the other one's father was with me. He died on the left flank. Ah. Took the majority of the cataphract charge. His father was one of the officers holding that flank. Good men. By all accounts, they should be. But I cannot pick and choose at the moment. They seem to be honest. They seem happy. They do. It's good to have them fill our ranks a bit more. <clears throat> I intend to fill our ranks completely. And once I have enough trusted men to act as officers and knights, then we can think about mercenaries. That makes sense. Keep them in we'll check. The men to keep them in line. Yep. <clears throat> so. uh, my lords. Hey, double ears. So, Figured I should um, keep you appraised on one or two things. Um, Tang's been building a trebuchet. Um, ballista, you mean? That's the one. Sorry, <clears throat> a ballista. Um, he's going to set it up on the north wall. He was. He suggested that it might be a good idea for us, as in the Erdhards, to train some of the men how to use it, since we've been around them. <clears throat> Do you know how to use a ballista, my son? I have fired one. I don't know how to maintain it or anything else. So I said to Tang we should set it up, do some tests to make sure we know how to use it before we start training <clears throat> people. The answer is no. I see. We will <clears throat> do our best, however, to go through with this idea. That was already the plan. I'm, I'm glad Mr. Tang has caught on mm -hmm. weeks later. And there's a whole point of asking for these weapons <clears throat> to be built. Hmm. If we can round up these trebuchets, though, that would be handy. They'd go to the dynasty. I mean, yeah. They would go to the dynasty. They'd go to the dynasty. We are not You bring some sort of news, Sir Halstead. No, I was merely just coming to handle some personal things. Uh, Organising a couple of things very quickly. I apologise if I'm interrupting. <coughs> you are not. Not me, then. <sighs> heard you talking to, uh... Was it Marco that I heard? Yes, Marco. There are still issues with the garrison at Corsetto. That wasn't Corsetto, that was the Iron Mine. Oh, really? Yes. They don't want to work with Imperials, and Imperials don't want to work with them, <coughs> vice versa. 
I suppose without a robber baron to hate, they <clears throat> turn to each other. Um, Marco was planning to get that all set up. He wanted to run that by us, but it's probably a little late for that. Um, he said he's got the mercenaries already. Mm, all that's left is to get them there, I suppose. Good. Then we'll send those shipments <clears throat> tomorrow. Mm hmm. And, uh. Um, the one silver I've given him is only good for a fucking day, so we better move every single shipment he's got. Oh. <laughs> Speak. What is it? Um, heard rumors. I've been trying to hone in on who's been trying to sully our reputation with the Marquis Felder. I think that's what his name is again. Um, so I've been trying to keep tabs on him. Apparently, he's been frequenting Cassetto, going in and out several times a day. Which that coupled with the issues between the garrisons there makes me a little concerned. <clears throat> that on top of the Merc company that's moved in. I don't know. I plan to ride out there today with the Major, but he's been busy. I don't know anything about any of that. Mm. But I do know the man. But the Marquis seems to be in touch with is in Cusano. That's Sagano, I believe. That could be why. That'd be it. That might have been the guy I pissed off. That would explain why he came for us. <clears throat> well. If politics begin to fail, I'll have to change my strategy. <clears throat> yes. I'll have to be more realistic. And speak a language these Gradians understand. Blood or silver. Sometimes it's better to be feared than to be loved. Hmm. I'm gonna see if I can take a group of hunters tomorrow and find out where that griffin is. Sounds good. Let me know if you need me. Always need you. Always here. Stay out of trouble. Always out of trouble. Especially now. Don't lie to your father. Good night. Good night, my son. The days seem to drag on, not so much from boredom or anything of the sort, but the struggles that seem to be taking place daily. You realize you've never heard your father say that? Never once. He's always preached about hearts and minds. He's always talked about winning people over. Sometimes you worry about him going in that direction. And a thought passes through your mind. It's very quick, very brief. With everything he knows and what he does, Arnulf would make a terrifying man if he was ruthless. You know, Grady doesn't change him. He's lost a lot. <sighs> Sounds 
hold out a little further. That echoes in your head one last time. Sometimes it is better to be feared than to be loved. <sighs> We're a long way from Ludford. Kyler Blend. I know, buddy. It's okay.
I have so many fucking cables and shit. What am I doing? Ah. There she is. There he is with her. He's gonna cook her a fish. Are you looking for something? No, no, it's just passing through. I think a friend of mine is <laughs> going to get lucky Very tonight. Well. <laughs> Very well. He was walking this by with good. a lady. Hmm. <clears throat> Ah, that's one. <laughs> Never know. Maybe you get lucky tonight. <laughs> Hope you're not offering. <laughs> no, my wife is wounded. <laughs> Fucking bummer. <laughs> <laughs> My wife is long dead. <laughs> Damn, dude. <clears throat> really sucked the energy out of the room. My fucking... <sighs> Stupid ass face being itchy. Woof. <clears throat> <coughs> 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 Those are goblins in a cage in the back of that car. 